first of all, change the render engine to cycles. And, change the device to GPU compute. Delete, all the objects. Press Shift plus A, and, add a new cube. Now, go to the front view. And, scale the cube, along the x-axis. Then, go to the side view. And, scale it along the y-axis. Go to the perspective view, and increase its height, by scaling, along the z-axis. Go to the edit mode, by pressing tab key. Press Ctrl plus R, and, add an edge loop. Go to the wireframe mode, by pressing Z key. Select these two vertices, and move it down along the z-axis. Go to the solid mode. Press Ctrl plus R, and rotate mouse wheel, to add two edges. Go to face selection mode, by pressing number 3. Select this face, and press E key, to extrude. Then, add another edge loop. Now, select the bottom face, and extrude outside. Repeat the same steps. Go to the front view, and, go to the vertex mode, by pressing number key 1, enter into wireframe mode, and select, these two sides. Then, scale it along the x-axis. Go to the side view, and adjust its width. Add another cube. Scale, and position it like this. Go to face selection mode, select this face, and scale it, along the y-axis. Then, select these two faces and scale it along the x-axis. Use question mark key, to enter into isolate mode. Now, go to the front view. Use Ctrl plus R, and rotate mouse wheel, to add two edge loops, then scale it along the x-axis. Repeat the same steps, add another two edge loops. Use question mark key again, to enter into the normal mode. Add another two edge loops, 
and scale along x-axis. Enter into wireframe mode, select and move these vertices along the x-axis. Scale and adjust the size of a cube and edges. Do this adjustments in wireframe mode. Add two edge loops and scale along the z-axis. Select these top faces and move upwards. Go to the wireframe mode, select and move this vertices along the z-axis. Add another edge loop on the front top face. Add two edge loops in the side view. Scale and adjust it along the y-axis. Go to the face selection mode. Select and delete these faces. Then, do some corrections in length by moving and scaling of the objects and vertices.
Now, let's add another cube. Go to the front view and move it along the Z-axis. Now go to the side view and move it along the Y-axis. Then, scale that cube along the X-axis. Again, scale that cube a little more along the Y-axis. Now, move and position it along the Y-axis. We'll be continued in part 2.